Hi, I'm Charlie Kasov. I'm a math teacher, and today we're going to learn how to find the third side of a triangle if we know the length of the other two sides. Now, if you have a right triangle, it's very easy because we can use the Pythagorean theorem, which says that for any right triangle with side A, B, and C, we just say A squared plus B squared equals C squared. But if we have an isosceles or a scaling triangle, for example, let's say we have one that's 3, 4, and C, and this angle here we would need to know in order to find this third side. So let's say it's 60. And we're going to call this angle here C. This is going to be A. And this is going to be B. So just to say so far, if you have a right triangle, you don't need to know any of the angles because you already have one. It's 90. But with a scaling or an isosceles, you need to know at least one angle. So we have 3, we have 4, and then the angle in between is 60. And we're going to use the law of cosines. And the law of cosine says that c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cos c. And in this case, we can plug in all the numbers and the angle. So we say c squared equals 3 squared plus 4 squared minus 2 times 3 times 4 times cos 60, which is going to be 0.5. And we can multiply all this together, and 2 times 3 is 6, times 4 is 24, times 0.5 is 12. So we have 12 over here. We have 3 squared is 9, plus 4 squared, which is 16, equals, tw uh, rather, minus 12. And c squared is going to equal all that, so we'll bring the math up here. 9 plus 16 is 25, minus 12 is 13. So c squared equals 13 c will equal the square root of 13. So just to go back, when you have a right triangle, you know that one angle is 90, so you can use the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. When you have a scalene or an isosceles triangle, you have to use the law of cosines, which says that c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cos c, and you need to know that angle. So I'm Charlie Kasov, and you just learned how to find the third side of a triangle when you know the other two sides' lengths. Thanks a lot.